which Benjamin nearly had lost again, taking the path of crime and theft. He said that he had bought his spirit by giving the silver, the little silver that he had, he had paid for his soul. So now it was his duty to be a good man. And he had bought it for a price and returned it to the Creator, to God. God who had created Valjean. And you see the picture, Valjean puzzled and he was confused. Uh, did I promise to become an honest man? Did I? He questioned the bishop. Had he ever promised the bishop that he would become an honest man? He did not recall having made any such promise to the bishop. And below the picture you see, the bishop fetched. The bishop went in, got all whatever was remaining and all that was remaining were the two candlesticks and handed them over to Valjean. Valjean had left behind those two candlesticks. Along with the remaining of the cutlery, he gave it to him. Then, before sending him on his way, before letting him go, without any kind of uh, resentment, without any kind of anger, without any kind of hate, without any kind of, uh, you know, complaint against him, he let him go. Before letting him go, he reminded Valjean that he had promised to use this wealth to become an honest man. So he promised, sorry, he reminded him that uh, he had made a promise to him in the past and to God that he would use that wealth to become a good man, an honest man. And Valjean was quite confused for he could not recall anything that he had said in the past. He did not recall having met the bishop or having said anything like that, what he was talking about, any sort of thing that he was uh, talking about. He hadn't made any kind of such promise he recalled. So, uh, the sentence is a promise that Valjean could not remember making. So, in other words, the bishop indirectly meant to say that what he received was an opportunity, what was a chance, or was this great a chance for him to change his life, use all that instead of uh, an easy way out, bring transformation within himself. Have his soul clean once again. Have his soul bought by the good action that he would do so that he could save, save his soul and become a good man. Use all that he had received, uh, received to become a good man. So, this proves, gentlemen, that the bishop was truly a kind, charitable, honest, simple, spiritual, holy person. So when Valjean had crept into his room, the light that was radiating from his face, the glow was a glow of peace, a glow of happiness, a glow of honesty, a glow of Holiness, being holy, spiritual, and a glow that he was a man of God. So, gentlemen, till there, I have given you the question answers, a part of it. The remaining I will post it uh, within some time. Please go through them. If you have any questions to ask, please do feel free and I will be very happy to help you. So with this we come to the end of this beautiful
from short story, the bishop of Daniel. So what message does it give us that we must value not material good or goods, but we must value to become simple, honest, kind, helpful, sharing, spiritual people. You, as youngsters, do not put yourselves in stress with uh, uh, an objective, with an idea that when you grow up, you will have a lot of material wealth. That does not bring happiness. Happiness is being kind, happiness is being honest, happiness is being uh, a servant to God, serving God, serving, uh, ser serving others and a peaceful life would be not to earn through wrong means, always be honest. So the bishop could have complained and could have got the man arrested. Instead, he decided with his little act of kindness and denial that he was a thief, changing his life forever, which he did. So, gentlemen, always lead an honest life, always lead a simple life, always lead a life in service to God and others and be genuinely kind, be truth, uh, truthfully kind, be truly kind. Don't pretend to be kind. That is a very strong message that is given through this story. So, thank you gentlemen. We will meet again in the next.